shows first on the outside. Spectacular Love is moving right with them. There goes Proudest Hour now, charging up on the inside. Secretary General is also out fast, and in between horses, it's Spend the Buck. A battle for the early lead as they enter the main track, and Spend a Buck now emerges with a short lead, and Proudest Hour driving up on the inside is now second by ahead. Secretary General right there in between horses, Bionic Light right with the early leaders. He's fourth on the outside, about two lengths back. And then three more lengths to Spectacular Love now. He's settled in the fifth position, and the favorite Chief's Crown is sixth. Seven lengths off the leaders as they head for the half-mile pole. Toward the inside, Tank's Prospect is now racing in seventh position. Script Ohio is now eighth. And farther back are the trailers, Concert Hall, and Dauphine Fablo as the field races round the far turn. The quarter in 22 and 2 and a half and 45 seconds flat. And spend a buck now. He's got a two-length lead. Bionic Light is giving chase in second. And here comes the favorite, Chief's Crown, and he's flying on the outside now as the field turns for home. Proudest hour is giving it up now, and he's fourth toward the inside. And Tank's Prospect is gaining ground toward the rail, but they still have spend a buck to catch. Chief's Crown attacks on the outside. Tank's Prospect is now third toward the inside. Bionic Light is fourth. They're inside the final furlong, and here comes Chief's Crown on the outside. He's taken the lead. Tank's Prospect, the late move toward the inside. They're coming to the finish. Chief's Crown, here's the wire champion is crowned it's chief's crown even you fans who have never tuned in horse racing before have surely heard the name secretariat he was trained by the great lucian lauren his son roger lauren looks like you learned a little bit along the way roger yeah i had a good lead in that's for sure <laughs> oh what about uh, chief's crown today well i thought chief's crown ran his race he's he really truly is a champion he laid off the pace he made his one run and that's always good enough roger you have the horse syndicated already what are we going to do with them now go to the derby here florida where from here, we uh, we spend another uh, two, three weeks here, then we go to Florida, and then we start getting ready for the Derby. Roger. Let's bring in Don Come McBeth. Come on in, Don. We just got the replay going here. Here you are. John, Don, could you describe what's going on here as you're beginning to fly on the outside? Well, about the 3-8 pole, I moved him up into position on the outside of uh, uh, Spectacular Love. And at that time, I was able to drop over to only about three wide, which I was a little concerned about with the sharp turn turning for home. And the rest is history. Don, this horse likes to move that way. That's a circling around to the three and four path. Well, it, it was available. I knew I wouldn't have to check him. And I definitely want to have a chance to let this horse run. Did you want to be sitting there with a handful of horse and nowhere to go. Did you ever think that anyone like Tank's Prospect was going to beat you? Well, I'll tell you, I rode Tank's Prospect at the Meadowlands. Uh, I didn't think he was going to beat me today. But I'm not surprised that he ran well. Well, now you got yourself a derby hook colt. You're going to Florida. Yes, we'll go to Florida first and then on to Kentucky. 